¡Al corre! This is my uh, first video. Um, I uh, bought Mika um, home about uh, a couple of months ago. Um, she's about a year old. Um, she's a pre-loved hedgehog. Um, I'm not sure how much she was handled um, in her previous home. Um, it was a nice home, uh, and I went to view her and talk to the owners. But she was um, she belonged to some children, and I think that the novelty of her had worn off, um, which is a shame. Um, so I adopted her, and uh, she at first she was a little bit huffy. Um, I think most hedgehogs are a little bit huffy compared to maybe a rabbit or. A, obviously like a puppy and stuff um but i've been um sort of getting to know her and um i've been getting on quite well she's a good girl yeah and um getting her used to my smell and everything so i thought i'd make a video just to um tell you about sort of how um i've been progressing and what sort of thing i've been doing um so far so um, hedgehogs are nocturnal, um, but I do have to wake her up, and I feel a bit guilty about that, but she doesn't wake up on her own until I think about midnight or one in the morning, and that generally is just too late for me um, to stay up, and uh, if I didn't wake her up, she'd never get out of her cage, which I don't think she'd like that much, I think she quite likes getting out. Um, so, um, I first started um, getting her out. I'd sometimes um, pick her up in her bed. Um, she's got um, some snuggle sacks and things, which um, I'll make a video on as well. Um, and I'd put her in... She's actually in a shower tray at the moment. But I sometimes put her in the bath. And, um, and it's just because it's a sort of safe place, really. Um, also, it's white clean. Um, she often goes to the loo um, shortly after she's woken up. So um, I think it's a it's a fairly good idea. It's nice for me and just means I can wipe it up and stuff. Because um, hedgehogs are quite messy. Um, they tend to sort of um, poo and then tread all in it and uh, they don't seem to really mind about that. So sorry Mika, it's a bit embarrassing there. Um, so yeah, and also when she wakes up, um, just like people and most animals, um, being woken up and you know taken into sort of bright environment and stuff she she's often just huffy naturally when she first wakes up and her prickles are up um so giving her some time just in the bath to sort of run around um, obviously dry bath not wet um you know she just she just wakes up um, naturally um so when her prickles are down which they are at the moment you can see they're sort of lying flat um then i uh, pick her up so I'm just going to show you how I do it. Um, Mika doesn't bite. Um, I think most hedgehogs don't. Um, so first I um, put my hand towards her so she knows it's me. And then I just put my hand underneath her belly. Oh, it's hard to do with one hand. And just skip her up. Like this. And just hold her. Um, and uh, it's a bit hard to under here um so yeah then she can uh she can run around so you see she doesn't really mind being picked up she's quite quite used to that um sometimes i feed her some worms which is just that she's already had some today um so she i think she quite likes that so that's something nice for her to to do i got used to my scent by putting my fingers in her face quite a lot and uh also i put t-shirts in her bed um, which I think is quite helpful. Um, I certainly found, I think, the more she's used to you, just, you know, she doesn't mind. Sometimes she's scared and then she, she smells me and she's all right, which is quite reassuring for me as well, just that she's not scared. And, and hedgehogs are not aggressive, really. They, uh, they do get scared. Um, and when they huff, they're usually, they usually a bit scared. Um, I think she likes these pyjamas because they're quite snuggly. It's a bit embarrassing that I'm wearing those. 
I'm not really sure. Um, but it's after work, you know. So, anyway, um, I think that sort of concludes the the main things I wanted to say in this video. Um, she's quite really nice. She's sort of woken up and she likes to explore. And I just let her sort of climb on me and you know hold her a little bit and just try not to take her by surprise. And um, I handle her every day. Um, so I only wake her up once a day. Um, when I get home from work, usually I pick her up, get her out, and um, it's really nice to see her. And um, I think if you if you handle them consistently, that's that's a good thing. You know, they get to kind of know what's happening and um, just a bit more used to you. Oh, Mika, you don't really like this tablet thing, I don't think, going in your face, but you're such a pretty girl. You need to get used to it, don't you? Hmm? Mm hmm Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so it would be great if you could, uh, if you could comment. I would like to make some more videos on, um, just my journey with Mika, like how we're getting on, and, uh, I think the next video might be a, a tour around her cage, because before I got her that was something I was really interested in and curious, because hedgehogs are a little bit different from other small animals, so getting their cage rights can be a bit of a challenge if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and yeah, if you could comment and uh, just let me know if there's any specific videos you'd like to see, and um, I'll make them. So um, that's bye bye from me and Mika. Say bye bye, Mika. Say bye bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>